you were to be an animal, mm. which animal would you be? Meerkat. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I envy their ability to uh, to sit up straight. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, see my as, bad as, posture. As, no, as evidenced by my terrible posture. Um, <sighs> and uh, I don't know. They're just they're just too cool. And I love that they're always kind of in a perpetual state of. What do you mean? Ian? You, I don't know. Are what? you seeing this? What? Are you? Huh? Am I the only one seeing this? Is nobody else? Is, really? Seriously? <laughs> nobody? What? what? Could have chosen great white shark, <laughs> no. a bear, lion. I'm a meerkat. Who wins in a fight, Chronix or Lance? Ooh, a Chronix. A Chronix is gonna kick Lance's butt. Lance would be too worried about looking good and you know great. showing off his hair in there. What would Lance and a Chronix uh, first say to each other if they met? Nice outfit. I was thinking the same thing. I'm not sure. What is an outfit? First thought when you booked Ninjago. Like, did you know how huge it was at the time? I did. Um, I was very, very excited to find out that I had booked it. I had been on it before. I played a character named uh, uh, Chop. Uh, what? Who was like... You uh, weren't on it before? Yeah, he was like a little sort of uh, uh, side guy. It Excuse was me. myself Why and... were you on this show? Like, you were on Ninjago before you played a comics? Yeah, so it's like I, I had like two, two or three scenes. Like with myself and uh, AJ. Alessandro. Really? Yeah, we were uh, uh, Kapow and Chop. Okay. <laughs> that just got the Ninjago people excited because oh. they wouldn't have known that because I didn't even know that. Yeah. Did you record with the cast or did you guys just do this separately? Uh, I did occasionally record with the cast, although we did do we did do a fair bit where it was just myself and AJ. I don't know what I was doing. Really? Yeah. Okay, But cool. he, he was more kind of up here, kind of one of these sort of guys. Okay, let's retract this question. <laughs> I'm going to now ask you, when you got that call, were mm -hmm. you more excited? Uh, I was very happy to get uh, to get Chop. Uh, I think I was more excited about a Chronix, right. uh, because I got to play like a bad guy, a bad guy. Liked being a bad guy, and uh, it was the first time I ever really played a villain. So that was that was good. Have you auditioned for a lot of Ninjago characters over time? Uh, I've auditioned for a few. Yeah, you did get a major villain in one of the like. I mean, I did. Yeah, okay, that's pretty. And I did. I didn't know at the time that he was going to be kind of like a a full season sort oh. of guy. I thought it was going to be a one episode sort of situation. So that oh, was even awesome. better. Do you have any Ninjago sets or minifigs? Uh, I have been looking for a Chronix, but I can't. Find him anywhere. What? He's hard to find. Really? Yeah, I've have seen it online, but I haven't been able to track it down in life. The last time <laughs> I had somebody on, ninety percent of my comments when they didn't, it was Brian Dobson. He mm -hmm. had ninety percent of the comments were where for him to buy that. Oh, don't do that to this <laughs> don't, video. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go to Ian's social media yeah. and tell him. Yeah, blow up my Twitter. That's fine. Because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to see the same comment. <laughs> 300 times. <laughs> you have a favorite fast food? Steak and shake. And it's so good. It's so good. Are you flirty like flirty Lance? No. No. I, uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. But, uh, no, not really. I'm kind of, mm, sort of shy. You don't have any moves? I don't have any, well, not like Lance moves. I can't really do the whole, you know, uh, flip the hair and, How are you uh, doing? Bing. You can't do that? I don't have a lot of, how are you doing? Huh? You sell on the eyebrows, watch. Yeah. Favorite character you've ever played? Gotta be Lance. Gotta give it up for Lance. Lance was the first big character I ever got. The first one I really got to sort of sink my teeth into and just do. So, gotta be Lance. Do you, do you see that kid coming towards you? I do. Crying? I do. That's like one of your fans. <laughs> this is true. They're like, no, he's talking about himself again. I remember finding out that I got it and just kind of sitting. I was living with a roommate at the time and I found out and I was just kind of sitting on my sofa in the middle of the afternoon, home alone, just sort of staring off into the middle distance, being like, for real? Like, did that really just happen? Cool. That's... Because it was always like, you know, you're chasing it. It's what you're, you're chasing, going yeah, after. Yeah, of course, yeah. But then when, when it finally clicks over, it was yeah. strange. It was yeah. a strange sort of moment, but it was, just, it was a nice moment. It Which has great. led to other big things for you. Projects that we can talk about or not? Uh, like up, upcoming stuff? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Littlest Pet Shop. I'm Mitchell, the okay. snail. Mitchell's, he's sort of like a sycophantic, like... <laughs> How'd you get into voice acting? Uh, so I went through theater school and then came out to Vancouver with a bunch of people. 
and we were doing some plays and I managed to get uh, an agent through the play and he mentioned to me that they represented uh, voice people. He said, yeah, you kind of did a voice in that play, would you maybe want to audition for things? I said, okay. So you didn't pursue this from the get-go, it wasn't something you even probably considered? No, I mean, and I've always loved animation and I've always done voices and cartoons, I mean, I was one of the only kids in my elementary school when South Park came out that was allowed to watch it. So I'd watch that on Friday, and then on Monday morning, I would show up at school, and before class, I would do the whole episode for everybody. <laughs> you know who Ariana Grande is? I do, yes. I'm familiar with uh, the, the recording artist known as Ariana Grande. Yeah, yes. okay. That's, yeah, <laughs> yes I do, is the answer <laughs> to that question. This person, she's a huge <laughs> Ariana Grande. She asked that question. Every time I interview her, oh, yeah? I don't think she realizes the world knows who Ariana Grande is, but I'm finally asking your question. Right. Favorite Ninjago character besides your own? Talking favorites here, not people whose parts you'd like to steal. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, I might have to say Wu. Yeah, Wu's, Wu's a cool dig Wu. I always liked the, the, I was a big fan of like martial arts movies and stuff growing up. Um, so, you know, like 36 Chambers of the Shaolin and all this sorts of stuff. So I love the idea of like the wise old master passing down information and knowledge. Right. What was your inspiration for Chronix's voice? It was just the voice I heard in my head when I read it on the page. I, I got this sense of someone who was trying to sound scarier than they actually were. Right. To sort of almost put forward this idea of being menacing. Well, well let's be honest though too, you aged him up from your own age a little bit. Like he, yeah. he sounds older. Yeah, I had to sort of put a little gravel into him and a little bit of world weariness. What does Ian want out of life? I want to feel like I took advantage of it. That's what I want out of life. I want to feel like when there were opportunities, I went after them. Right. And I want to feel like when um, there was moments to relax, I relaxed. When there were moments to work hard, I worked hard. And um, yeah, I just want to feel like I, I did everything I could with it. What's some things that you really like to do? Some things I really like to do, I read a lot, which is um, interesting for it to say like, okay, get out there and do stuff, but also <laughs> sit still and read. I've, I've gotten more into sort of like uh, doing long walks where I'll just sort of walk for like three and a half hours or something like that. I really so, quite enjoy so, that. So you read by yourself. Yes. And go for long walks on the beach by yourself. Yes. Walking around the city going, how you doing? And then if it doesn't work out well, I start speed walking. <laughs> <laughs> and clenching. <laughs> yes, exactly. Check this out. I must clench. <laughs> Maintaining posture. How are you doing? <laughs> clenching. No, nope, clenching, clenching. <laughs> what would Lance do? if he could change time. I think Lance would put himself in all sorts of movies. Um, you know, he got to do the Golden Castle, but it didn't turn out quite the way he wanted it to. So right. he might go back and try and fix some of those embarrassing moments that he had on set. Have you watched all of the Lego Nexo Knights? I have, yeah. Okay, do you own any of those sets of minifix? I do, I have, uh, I have Lance's um, a horse that transforms into the car, and I've got his power armor set. There are shows that we as voice actors would love to get on. Yeah. And I'm, not, I'm just going to say something right now, okay, without giving anything away. Mm -hmm. Ian has booked the role on a show. Okay, I, I know we're <laughs> NDA and all up the wall here, but mm. Ian has booked the role on a show that I think most of us voice actors well, I know I'm jealous, but we'll be extremely jealous for it. So, for the future, when you finally announce what you got and when it's going to be, kudos to you, man. Thank you. Uh, to do that one. Thank you, thank you. That's uh, really I cool. wish I could tell them what it is, but I tried for it. I got beat by this guy. Oh, Santa Maria. Any funny moments that ha have happened to you in a recording studio that you've seen? I do recall one Nexo Night session where an actor, who shall remain nameless, uh, fell asleep while we were recording <laughs> no. and started aggressively snoring in the middle no, of the session. No, no! That was pretty funny to have a take blown by somebody snoring in the there, room. There's moments where we're in session where we're like this, like we're just, our eyes are closed and we're listening. Mm. But yeah, to actually fall asleep, that's pretty... Yes, someone fell asleep funny. and started snoring and it was, it was pretty funny. I won't put this on, but who was it? Do you think Lance is friends with Clay? Yes, I do. I think they have, they have like a friendly sort of uh, rivalry. What do you get more known for all the roles that you've ever booked? Uh, probably Lance. More now also for uh, I'm Sunburst on My Little Pony my little as well. Pony. On my Little Pony. Are there any questions that weren't asked of you hmm. that you would like to answer? Nobody asked me what Lance's hair product is. What is it? Nobody! It's Dapper Dan. 
got to be Dapper Dan. He's a Dapper Dan man. So, all right, you heard it first. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to our friendly fans here on my channel before we say goodbye? Uh, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you guys uh, and gals for uh, for letting me, um, you know, be a part of such a such a cool fandom and such a cool series of shows. Um, it's been an absolute blast, and I hope that I get to do some more uh, playing around with some awesome folks. And he's not done yet. And I'm not done yet. All right, follow Ian on his social media. We said mm -hmm. Twitter. We said Instagram. Thanks for being on the show, man. Dude, thank you. Absolute pleasure. Uh, like this if you liked it. If you want to shout it out to people on your social media, please do so. Subscribe if you haven't, because if you haven't, you're missing out on the best contact, because mm. I talk to people like Ian. Heck yes. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> All right, bye, party people. I'll see you later. Thank you. Thanks, dude. Dude, thank you. That was awesome. <laughs>